guys, Rare McCoy 411 and welcome back to my channel. The pudding in the pudding pot. Okay, anyway. So, today we're going to be doing a wash and go. I've used these products before and I didn't get the results that I really liked. So, I'm going to go in and add something different to it. You know, try to spice it up a little bit. Stay tuned. So the product that we're going to be going in with is Shea Moisture Coconut Custard Make It Last Wash and Go Shampoo and Conditioner with Cocum Butter, Cocum Butter, and Plant Peptis. Peptis. Okay, Cleanse the Tango Kinky Coily Hair, blah, 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 blah. I've shampooed and conditioned with this. You see, I've only used a little bit. I only use a little bit. Use more of the shampoo, of course, than the conditioner. I wasn't, I'm, I'm not that pleased. I'm not that pleased. So, I did that. On a scale of one to five, will five being the greatest? And would I repurchase it again? No, I will not. But, like I told you, these products have expiration dates on them. And I have to use them before these exp expiration dates hit. Because I don't want to waste my money. Now, the next thing it says do is go in with the primer. This is the whole title again, Curl Primer. Okay, you put this on before you put on the defining gel oil. Okay, okay. Now, we got all that broke down. We're going to be working in sections. I'm going to do a side part. I have my warm water, warm water on deck, because I know this towel, this towel cap prouder than, yeah, oh, look at the growth, mm, look at the growth though, mm. ain't nobody bragging, ain't nobody bragging, stop that, stop lying, I'm not bragging, mm, mm, I'm just saying. The growth is there. Can I just say it? I just say it. That's all. I don't want to brag. Stop that. Okay. Now, even though I'm not too fond of the shampoo and the conditioner, my hair is soft. It's detangled already, but I'm going through it again. My hair is soft. And it feels like it has moisture in it. So I can't knock it from that. I, I, I just can't knock it from that. Can't knock it from that. So let's divide up our hair and get started. So we got a part there. Hair so thick I can't even see the part. Plug. Hair is just so thick. And I think I owe that all to Has Bowton Boost. Y'all gonna listen to me one day. It's not in our section. It's in the Caucasian section. But it works like magic. Works like magic. Okay, separate this part, and I'm definitely going to need to add some warm water because my hair is literally just a little, a little damp. Those t-shirt towels, microfiber towels, whatever you want to call them, they really do the job. They get all that extra water out. So it's two things different that I'm going to do that I didn't do the first time, okay? Two things different. I'm going to work in smaller sections. I'm going to start in the back. 
like this section back here I'm gonna put it in half and I'm just gonna start with this little section right here and this is for putting on the primer and the gel oil let me open up the gel oil I have decided oh and the gel oil is very runny very runny so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my head because I don't waste product I don't waste product I pay for product okay so let me see what was I looking for another clamp okay so we got this section right here okay I'm gonna spray it down with my warm water don't care about the shirt getting wet this is one of my walk around in the house comfortable Daisy Duke outfits you right I said it Daisy Duke not Boss Hall, Daisy Duke. Okay. So hair is saturated. Primer. Where are you? Okay. Let's check out something. There's a little smell very faint i'm putting this much of the primer on my hair on this section and i'm going to work it in and what i'm looking for is moisturized curls moisturized wash and go curls and which means i'm going to let this air dry and I'm going to come back to you guys the next day and see how I hair look. I'm going to put my hair up in four sections for the night. And take it down in the morning. Refresh it because it has a revival oil that goes with it. So I'm going to refresh it with that. Okay, so what are we looking at so far? So we see some curls, but it's hard to say because my curls look like that too. So let's try the gel oil. Y'all, this stuff is so slimy. And it's in a, it's not even slimy, it's just watery. And it's in a jar, which makes it kind of hard to scoop. And normally I don't have bad reviews because I watch videos and I watch other people's reviews and I kind of can tell what can work for my hair and what kind of, you know, what can't work for my hair. And I didn't either I didn't pay attention to the reviews because look, it looks the exact same. It looks the same. And I and I don't want to use too much, but I'm using enough. I'm using enough. So I'm gonna try this Eco Style Glitter Gel. This glitter gel along with the defining custard, the gel oil. Let me see if I can get my curls to pop the way I want them to pop. Sometimes a product just needs a little gel to help it out.
But I can tell you this. This is not going to be empty, but it's going in the empty box. What I'm showing you guys is, this is just with water added to my hair. These are my curls, okay? This is just with water added, all right? With water. Bigger section, a little more product. With primer. See, when I use products, I want products that enhance my curls, to make my curls pop, okay, to where I can see a difference in my tight hair. I want to see a difference in my hair when I use products for wash and goes. Did you remember how I showed you how my hair looked with just water? Well, look, that's with the primer. Now let's go in with the gel oil. Okay. And you see how it just runs. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Okay. Gel oil is in. Where's the difference? Where's the difference? Okay. Unicorn gel. My curls start to clump. 
together. When I go and use a product that's not even in the line. The unicorn gel. Not even in the line. But I had a feeling from the first time I did it. I said I'm going to need something to make my curls clump. But I'm going to try it out because I bought it with my money. And I hate for my money to go down the hole. I hate for my money to go down the hole. Okay. Now, you can kind of sort of see a difference in it, in it now. Let me get this ends right here. But you saw, I sprayed my hair with water. And then I added the primer. And then I added the gel oil, water. And then I added the Eco Style Unicorn Glitter. You couldn't even tell the difference without the gel. You can't tell the difference without the gel. So, I'm going to let this sit overnight. I'm going to let it dry a little bit. And then I'm going to, I know y'all wondering what am I doing. I'm trying to get some of this hair out of my face. I don't like hair in my face that much. But I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to let it air dry. And we're going to come back in the morning. And they're already telling you, you're going to need an oil. They're telling you, revival oil. That's what this is, revival oil. So they're already letting you know you're going to need it. The first time I used it, that's how much I needed. So I'm going to put my hair up in four sections after it dries a little bit. And then I'll see you guys in the morning at takedown and I'm going to revive it because it's going to be dead like it's halfway dead now. And uh yeah. Get out get out your CPR manuals cuz we're going to have to do something to bring this back to life. Not mad at my curls. My curls are beautiful. My curls are beautiful. My my curls are beautiful. But I'm not going to say it's because of that. You see what I'm saying? It's not because of this Shea Moisture. All other Shea Moisture have not failed me yet. This one, I should have left on the shelf. So, I'll see you guys in the morning at takedown. Alright, it's the next day and it's takedown time. Takedown time. Let's see. You see how I have my hair put up? This is how I sleep with my watch and goes. I put them in a little bonnet, little scrunchy, and my hair right now, I would say it's almost dry, but I'm going to go in with this Coconut Custard Revive Curl Revival Oil, and we're going to use this in place of water to moisturize our hair, okay? So... Let's take down the first scrunchie. So my curls are still there. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got. Okay, and it is an oil. Honestly, my honest opinion on this brand, on this particular product from the brand, I won't buy it again. I won't buy it again because I feel like 
the unicorn gel is what made the difference in my hair. I feel like I would have had one big fluffy wash and go. That's what I feel like. I would have had one big fluffy wash and go. concludes this video this product review you all have my thoughts on it uh, pick it up if you want to try it it is at Sally's that's where I bought it from Sally's pick it up if you want to try it for yourself maybe I did something wrong doubt it but maybe I did something wrong Maybe I should have, if I was to try it again, I would get in the shower soaking with hair, put the primer on, put the gel oil on, everything while I was in the shower. But you shouldn't have to do that. You shouldn't have to do that. And my hair was wet because I did use the warm water. So, this is the outcome. And this is how my hair is going to be for the rest of the day. Just like this. So, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. Click on the notification bell. Go ahead and do that. That's very important. If you like this product review, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you want more product reviews. Let me know if you want... Because um, I have a lot of products, but I really don't review them. I just do my hair and use products that I think that will work good on my hair. But if you want product reviews, let me know. I review them for you. But 9 times out of 10, they're going to be good reviews because I only use what I think is good for my hair. And Shea Moisture is a good brand. It's a good brand. So I knew that this, this would be perfectly fine. And I was wrong. I was wrong. Okay. So, I will see you guys in the next video, and remember to keep God first in everything you do, and I do mean everything, and until next time, check out the curls, check out the curls, I even slicked that up, yeah, I just don't know how to do edges, I'll learn, bye.